Mina, Konbanwa, Jesus Freaking Gamer here. Sorry to come at you so late and to seemingly completely miss um, Monday's stuff. It was there, it was in the making, and I, I was late again. I do apologize. So, gonna release two messages and two gameplay videos today. Let's go ahead and get on with this first one. It's actually not gonna be in First Chronicles tonight. It's going to be from Exodus, chapter 16. As I've said in the past, uh, every now and then, um, it's not in all of my videos, obviously, but it is in, I've mentioned it a few times, where I not only read the Bible daily, I also write some verses from it daily, just as a, a further way to reinforce my faith, reinforce my study of the Word of God, and in the book of Deuteronomy, it talks about the kings in the Old Testament were commanded to write the scriptures, to actually write a copy of the Bible for themselves, so in the mindset of I want to be a king for Jesus. I want to be a king in the kingdom of God. With that mindset and that goal in mind, thus I do it. Not not in a presumptuous way. Um, it, certainly that's not the intent. I, I want to do my best for Jesus. I want to do my b absolute best in the kingdom of God. And I feel like that's kind of a, a symbol and a reminder of that. So that's part of what I do in my daily life. And this comes out of Exodus chapter 16. It's going to be verses 15 and 16. And this has to do with the manna that the, um, that the Israelites ate every single day. Bread from heaven. So when the children of Israel saw it, they said to one another, What is it? For they did not know what it was. And Moses said to them, This is the bread which the Lord has given you to eat. This is the thing which the Lord has commanded. Let every man gather it according to each one's need, one omer for each person, according to the number of persons, let every man take for those who are in his tent. So it was provided, God put it right there, all they had to do was go out and get it, but he didn't like drop it literally inside their tents or even at their doorstep. They had to gather it, they had to go get the portion that was allotted to them. So the message from this is simply God doesn't do our work for us. We do have a role. We do have a place. We do have a part to play in this thing called life. <clears throat> it's not just up to fate or destiny or to God. He will do his part, but we also have to do ours. He's not just simply going to hand the victory over to us, the healing over to us. He can but very rarely does he. Usually we have a part to play in that. Um, there is a work that has to be done, and it's a work that he wants us to do. The miraculous part, though, they couldn't make bread out of dirt. Uh, they had no food in the wilderness and in the desert. They didn't have that. They couldn't have done that. They needed provision, and the Lord miraculously, supernaturally, on a daily basis did just that. But it's not like they had nothing to do. It's like, okay, well, we can't do it, so God's going to do everything. Well, he, he did the supernatural part. Now they've got to collect it. And, of course, afterwards, m even more practically, they've got to eat it. God did not feed them or send angels to say, open wide, say, ah. They had to feed themselves, so they had to gather. They had to eat. Um, our part to play is incredibly simple compared to God's. But we do have a part to play. Um, when there's ministry that needs to be done, when there's prayer that needs to be done, when something down here needs to be changed, God can definitely change it. And he will put the tools in our hands. He will provide them, provided we ask him for those tools and for the grace to use those tools. He'll give, he'll give the tools and he'll give the grace to use them, but we need to ask for them and we need to pick them up and we need to use them. That is our role in this. Thank you guys very much for watching this video. I love you. And God bless.